equatorial mount on the left, my old alt azimuth mount on the right. I'm gonna go to the same star and show you how it moves differently between the two mounts and how the one on the left will basically align itself and orientate itself with the sky to move on one axis when it's centered and the other one will not twist the scope basically to match the rotation of the sky and you'll see that here in a second pretty beefy you know nice little cgx mount from celestron got my guide scope my star sense camera to automatically align it when i set it up the uh, finder scope just for the old school aligning focus knob where i put the camera and here's the other scope with no accessories nothing on it so i'm gonna go to capella style on here and watch how it moves see those weights at that silver bar there that balances the scope on that axis it just rotated on right there and then I'm gonna do the same for this mount and then you'll see it's kind of simpler and louder but notice it can't rotate the tube it's just not part of the deal so if you try to take a picture of something in the sky after about 30 seconds, it's going to show object rotation, as they call it. And basically, everything around the middle is going to start getting twisted the more and more farther out of the field of view of that camera it is. Whereas this one will not have that problem. So, it's pretty sweet. I'll slow it to another star. Just to show you how it twists again. And why not one more for good measure? You know, why not? aligning itself to the axis of the Earth. Which is why this has to be pointed north and that angle right there has to be set for your latitude. Pretty funky stuff, huh?